All right. So uh, this is going to be a, a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well uh, Libra Rising. Weekly general tarot reading, March second to March eight, twenty twenty. And in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below, and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. Now that being said, moving to the spread straight away. Now the first card, standing as the standing as the topic and the theme of your week is going to be the star card moving next here we do have the energies feeding and supporting the topic now excellent combo it is what we do have here libra a lot of dreams are coming true for what it seems now seven of cups it is what the cards uh, point next one it is uh, the uh, challenges that you will have to overcome uh, that is to be the five of wands Moving next, it is the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy for throughout the week here. That is to be the Four of Cups. Then it is uh, the impression that you're going to leave into people around. We do have the lovers completely fitting with the narrative. And the last one that we do have here, it is uh, the guidance that uh, Taro is offering. That is to be the High Priestess. Okay, so those, uh, those six cards. All right, so first couple of cards here. Just let me all right, spread the cards. All right, so first couple of cards. We do have the Seven of Cups as the uh, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. So what is the Seven of Cups really? Well, in that particular position, especially when it sits next to the Star card, the Seven of Cups goes like this. You know, what are your dreams? Uh, if not like the mother's dreams for their children. What I mean, it is that are those dream fantasies or seeds growing? Well, yet remains to be of knowing. So literally what those two cards here points that nothing is impossible as long as it's in the framework of your capabilities, okay? And that being said, with those energies and the star card as a topic and a team here, it does look like that you're going to start raising your ideals of what you want for yourself, what you want for your relationship, what you want for your work as well, for your career and what you want for, for your children as well, if you will. Uh, because uh, for one or another reason, it looks like that you Libra are going to see that those things are completely achievable. Okay. And uh, for one or another reason, you're going to have the confirmation for it as well. Another thing from those energies, which is also very, very uh, productive and helpful, it is that you are completely shielded from a total destruction and total ruin if you will because a seven of cups as an energy serves as a um, as a wall if you will so you kind of like you do a wrong move you take a wrong action and you face a, a disappointment which is the wall that bounces you back into the starting position which you can take on the same endeavor from a different angle with different decision, different action and so on and so forth. So it does look like that this week as well, you can definitely be a little bit more braver with what kind of actions and decisions as well you're taking in towards your career and in towards your relationship life as well. And those energies of a uh, lack of limits, uh, I would say, uh, are leading you to the situation of the star card. And what is the star card? Well, for once, star card kind of points that uh, the era of turmoil is ending, okay? And that turmoil doesn't have to be something physical. Maybe you're worrying for money. Well, that era is ending because you're going to have a clear perspective view and probably as well the opportunities to stockpile money or to make as much money as you need to face your expenses. The star card also could represent a un unfolding law, all right? So you're single, you really like that girl or you, you really like that man and suddenly <clears throat> you see an opening there and you have more than just one 
one try to do it to to enthrall the person itself and the star card points in an unfolding law from that direction but also like i said at the start it does refer to high ideals and high standards so you're definitely going to experience something that is going to improve your lifestyle in either direction career or relationship wise now what is the negative side of the star card though it says unfoldment so it happens slowly and for that reason <clears throat> Throughout this week, you have to start making a plans for the far future rather than to live for day by day. And uh, one more thing about the star card is that for some people, you can be that star. What I mean is that when you experience a good fortune throughout the week, and if you have the capability to share that good fortune with someone, especially with a uh, uh, beloved people, with beloved, um, for example, friends, um, family member excuse family members excuse me children or a beloved ones once again uh, you definitely have to do it that is going to gift you with a great great benefits uh, now next one here is going to be the challenges that you will have to face now that strictly relates to the situation in the topic now where that thing all comes from now suddenly you know up until this moment you have not dared to think that the future is going to be, for example, so enriched and so generous to you. And now suddenly you kind of see, say, the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, because the five of wands, it is the card of reversal. What I mean, it is that with, with the five of wands, things take sudden turnarounds. For example, something is going in a total ruin, decimation and devastation. Well, something happens, surprise happens, because the five of wands operates through surprises. Strong dynamic of the routine and suddenly a surprising event takes place that nobody saw coming. And out of nowhere, your project, for example, actually can be saved. Your marriage, for example, actually can be saved. All right, your interaction, the person said, I don't want to see you again. Well, they will want to see you again because that surprising event is going to make them do so. That's just for, for an example. And the whole challenge here is to take advantage of it, to be one with the dynamic, be as dynamical or as dynamic as the dynamic is. I don't know how to say it now, instead of <clears throat> kind of like, a, how can I say it? Going by the flow, if you will. So you have to take a participation in that crazy unfolding week that unfolds with a rapid rate itself so you can expect to be as well uh quite busy in a sense of that there will be always something happening for you libra at work uh, at your relationship life at your friendship circles as well and you have to be able to scope the moment uh, <clears throat> so <clears throat> five of wands itself could produce certain conflicts in between you and your partners uh beloved ones you know boss and, and uh, family members and etc etc now the thing with the five of wands is that you should not try to avoid those conflicts because those conflicts are rather constructive constructive conflicts what i mean it is that they build up a, a tension that warms the situation out and with the five of wands as well um the truth have been is to be revealed through the conflict so if you want to get your points across for example to your uh, wife well that is one way how you can do it and definitely if it goes to that or if it reaches to that particular point where you start fighting you should not try to avoid or muffle it but instead try to get your points across through the fighting so do not withdraw or waver now, next one here, it is the gifts and the blessings, and that is to be uh, the gift and the blessing of the Four of Cups. And Four of Cups it does point that the boredom is over, and you can finally start enjoying a new opportunities and kind of like new options available. It's not exactly opportunities, but more like a options available. So what the Four of Cups uh, as a gift and blessing, it is that a um, unexpected source of wealth. Now, wealth doesn't have to be, however, money. Uh, it could be a family, it could be love, it, it could be health as well, it could be friendship. So it's unexpected source of something that kind of makes your life exciting once again, because the Four of Cups, it's like the card that points 
puts one into the very end of the consumption of the fruits of their previous labor and uh, as a gift and a blessing gives you another thing for you to stray to strafe forward to which is exactly what the star card points that you will have a chance to fulfill a dream of your heart which stretches further into the future and that's why you have to start making plans throughout the week for a the distant future for you and your wife or a husband for you and your career path and etc etc because once again through the energies everything is possible next one uh, is going to be how people are gonna look at you what kind of impression you're gonna leave into the people around and that is the impression of the lover's card now first of all uh, with the lover's card the impression that you're gonna leave into the people around it is that you do not want to be on a bad term with anybody and that you want to kind of make peace with everybody around and you want a harmoniously flowing relationships with your friends with your co-workers in the family with your children you know uh, with your parents for example and etc etc with everybody around but also people are gonna see you as a someone very very decisive someone that is determined to kind of make um once again to make a choice but not to stay into the same place so people will see that things are to change with you and with your standing one way or another and uh, for them the decision really does not have right or wrong direction what i mean is that they will not be able to predict what you are to decide in favor of how to what what is your dream that is and therefore if you do have any rivals enemies uh, people that does not want to see you succeeding they will not be able to uh, harm you in any way throughout the week because um, they will simply will have no clue what kind of agenda you're going to place in front of yourself and finally here uh, people are going to see you very lucky because with the lover's card problems that you are concerning with are start solving themselves on their own accord literally out of nowhere they 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 stop existing and the last one here it is the guidance that Tsar is offering for you libra that is uh, the high priestess and it's a pretty deep one uh, high priestess refers uh, oh, not re not refers but reflects our i would say soul in the sense of that we have to identify what is going to make us uh, feel fulfilled and uh, unfortunately no one can tell us that uh, i'm saying this because uh, you are going to be amazed how many people come to me and they uh, shoot that question what is the purpose of my life or what is my sole purpose nobody can tell you that really i mean that is that is yours to to find out otherwise why are you even alive right i mean well, what's the purpose for you living if it is not the purpose to find what kind of purpose you serve in this world so uh literally here the high priestess kind of points to uh, identify that direction for yourself and not to kind of like uh, be influenced by anybody else because the true path that reveals in front of oneself through the high priestess comes true silence what i mean is that you do not take under consideration none of the suggestions of everybody around it is just as that uh, another thing about the high priestess it is that in case you are in a search of love at that card points that the time has come to kind of bound a bond yourself um, on a soul level with someone and that with the star card it could mean that the person that kind of shows interest in you or you're showing interest in them it is one of your soulmates i say one because there are many of them soulmate is just someone who is very compatible so you are mates on a soul level which is exactly what the high priestess is all about in relationships and uh, hopefully you will be able to uh, to make it work but at the end of the day guys uh, with the high priestess as a guidance your opinion is your own and your senses are your are your own as well um, and you have to follow them that's that's all that you gotta do because how do i say it? through the um, gates of success only with silence one can pass it is what the, the high priestess preaches 
So that being said, uh, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading Libra, um, March 2nd to March 8th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. Hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.